I don't remember giving you permission to borrow my Hagrid costume, Sean. Stop it, B-Man. What's what's he saying? He says his teeth are gorgeous. Uh. Cherry Chipotle turkey turkey. You've had that the whole time? You know I'm a nervous eater, Sean. Well, give it to me for the love of God. What? You do realize this stuff costs $19 an ounce. I will pay you back. Come on, son. I'm back and do without Shimon. He's talking to you, Shimon. My dad's having a full-on 7 8 life crisis. I have just one question for you. What's that? Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Where is the phone? Where is the phone? Where's the phone? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 there we go. Uh, there's, uh, there's my trooper. Uh, listen, Georgie, nobody's in my mouth for anything. My knees are perfect. My hair is gorgeous. You know what I'm mean? saying? I don't have any kind of wrong life. Can you give me a ride? Before we go any further, let me just say this. That was the best fluffing other sandwich I've ever eaten in my entire life. And I'm completely willing to make a go with this. But you must let me be the cheetah in this relationship. Done. Cool. <laughs> just for the record, I did not ask her to do that. What's your number? I was going to ask you the same question. Um, Gus, please, this woman may have witnessed a crime. A crime in progress. She's still in my heart, but I am pressing charges. Wow. I would like to apologize for my creepy colleague. No need. I find his energy very soothing. Really? <laughs> that is not letting me be the cheetah. <laughs> you always complain you don't get to do the questiony part. Questiony part? Gus. Right. You're forgetting some. <laughs> May I help you? Yes. I'm here for a tanning appointment. Uh, for yourself? Yes, for the instant process. I would like that. But what? You. Yes. Uh, I don't understand. Okay, look, screw it. I can't do it. Have you seen either of these two guys here before? Oh. Fred Turk or Philip. <laughs> Feel free to help yourself to the mini bar. I've been waiting my entire life to hear those exact words. <laughs> Store's really solid. I think it's oak. My humidifier looks nothing like a coffee maker. Dude, have some respect for yourself. Suck it, Sean. Growing up in Edinburgh, my sisters and I had a basset hound who used to hoot like a snowy owl. No kidding. What'd you name him? Hey, we called him Basset Hound. Although my, my sister, she always used to call him Uncle Jimmy. I never knew why. Your Mrs. Pickles will come back to you, DeAndre. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? He coming forth to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home If you 
get there before I do. Coming for to carry me home. Tell all my friends I'm coming to. Coming for to carry me home. Oh my God! I get it! I get it! <laughs> Come on, dude. You know I'm a sympathetic cry, Sean. Just leave me be. Changing of the guard, perhaps? It's big. Not who we are as men, and certainly not what our friendship means, but... This is exciting! I mean, you could argue that this is the pinnacle of our careers. I mean, we've discovered treasure. How are we gonna top that? I don't think we can, Gus. I've made a decision. Ah! Ah! That's for calling me a panty waist. There's no shame in having a gag reflex. It's a sign that I'm highly evolved. I did a bit of research on what I found, Gus. He's out cold. Oh, no, I, I, was, I was just playing. We were being detained. And you just forgot to mention this hidden compartment. That is a phoenix feather, sir, not a weapon. If you're familiar with the most popular franchise in the history of film, maybe you wouldn't experience such confusion here. Uh, my apologies. This my normally insane buddy is a little on edge because of the very tight window that exists between our arrival at Heathrow and the Rupert Grint meet and greet at Leicester Square. I am a Grint grunt, loud and proud. Bloody hell. How'd you do that? Expecto Patronum. <laughs> <laughs>